Secondary School for Uganda Advanced Certificate of Education in 1983 to 1985. Lieutenant General Mohanga joined National Resistance Army on 1st of July 1985. Through his time in service, Lieutenant General Mohanga underwent through various military training, namely Officer Cadet course in Jinja in 1989 to 1990, Company Commander's course in Munduli 1998, Anti Terrorism from United States of America 1999, Strategic Studies from Hansa High Military Academy, this is in Egypt, Junior, Junior Command and Staff College. In 2004, this is in Jija. Peacekeeping from Ghana in 2007. Battalion Commander's Course from China in 2007. Senior Command and Staff College, Chimaka, in 2011. National Defense College from South Africa in 2020. Military service history over the years. In his career, Lieutenant General Kayanja Mahanga distinguished himself by exceptionary military service in a succession of positions of great importance and responsibility to the army and the nation at large. This culminated into him being appointed as an intelligence officers to various formations and units from 1992 up to 2000. Up to 2000. Then he added joint anti-terrorism uh, team in 2002 up to 2003. Then he was appointed a brigade operations and training officer. In 2006, he became a brigade commander. 2009. He became a commandant military police, 2013-2014. Then he became a joint task force commander when he was serving under 4 div. This was in 2014-2016. Then he was appointed the division commander mountain, 2018. Thereafter, he was assigned an extra job on top of being a division commander mountain as Operations Shuja Commander, where of recent it found him and was awarded that promotion. The promotion history, Lieutenant General Kayanja Mahanga was promoted to the rank of Lieutenant General on 4th of October 2022. However, previously he held several ranks as per the following promotion history. To second lieutenant in 1990, lieutenant 1992, promoted to captain in 1999, promoted to major in 2001, promoted to lieutenant colonel 2009, promoted to colonel in 2012, Promoted to the Brigadier General in 2014. Promoted to the rank of Major General 2019. Then promoted to the rank of Lieutenant General in 2022. Lieutenant General Kayanja Mohanga is a family man, happily married to Mohanga Lois, 
blessed with a number of children. Sir, so, I now present to you Lieutenant General Kayanja Muhanga for decoration. Kategori bisnes tawar. The person who was just holding it, General Temu. By the time we went to the handing over and take over today, he was my senior. But I'm, I'm his senior now. <laughs> <laughs> and he's honoring me by inviting me to come and, uh, and, and talk on behalf of the armed forces. Without much ado, I want, first of all, to congratulate General MK for his promotion to a four-star general. Clap for him. Uh, it's been a long journey. I have served with him for over two decades now. Leave out these social media things, you know, they mean nothing. So many people talk hooligans, all these drunkards, you know, they are there talking, abusing and saying everything. But if you measure what General MK has contributed to the UPDF and to the security of this country, because of his dedication and his love for the UPDF and the country. I don't know how I can measure it. Within a very short time, their achievements in the army and for this country. If it's put on a PowerPoint, you would all appreciate and I want you to clap for him. <laughs> Using very limited resources to do so much. I have, we started, I started interacting with the general when bombs were going around here in Kampala, you could have such a gathering and there is a bomb going off. 70 people, I remember 76 people at uh, Lugogo. Bombs were going around and nobody knew who was throwing these bombs. That's when we started, I started interacting with him when he was uh, a young officer. He took keen interest in what was happening in Kampala and he wanted to know what we were doing about that situation and how we were doing it. The rest is history. Recently, of course, they tried something here in Kampala, but 
But they are being punished there in Eastern DRC for the same. Seriously punished. So, these operations internally within the country, you know Uganda is a very complicated country, people don't know. Without a clear leadership here in Uganda, we would be in the same situation as South Sudan. We would be in the same situation like the Congo now. Because, you know, leadership is the most important element of combat power. Not these tanks you see, aeroplanes and, and artillery and, and whatever. Leadership. So I, I want to thank the UPDF for the great job from Kisoro up to Erebu, from, from Mutukula up to Koboko. There is no any single rebel group here in Uganda that we have not defeated. The NRA stroke UPDF has been able to defeat over 30 rebel groups. You can register them. I think when the opponents can register with the rebel groups. Completed. And now we are exporting peace out of Uganda. We are in Somalia. We have been in South Sudan. We have been in the Central African Republic. We have been in the Congo a number of times. We are even in the Congo now. We are in Equatorial Guinea. Mali now, they have uh, an extremist group there. I don't know what they call themselves. They, are, they want the UPDF to go there. You can imagine the market that we have in, 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 in the region and Africa at large. So this is the great work your army has been doing under a very, very strong leadership of the Commander-in-Chief. People have freedom to go on the net and talk. So many things. Talk, talk against the President, abuse, do it. But we all know we who were there, when a private could come and pick you and you disappear and there is no investigation. A couple or a private would come, pick you, you are a businessman, I don't know, you are going down here, he picks you and, and that's the end of you. We know it used to happen. Some of us who have lived a bit longer, we saw it with the next So, for me, I want now to congr congratulate the team chairman.